Regulars here on the channel know we've been updating reviews on familiar cloud storage services lately, but today we're breaking down pretty much new ground, and this is our Proton Drive review. Stay tuned. Here at CloudWords, we've been testing cloud storage services for, wow, over a decade now. I'm getting really old. <laughs> so it's fair to say we've become pretty good at spotting what makes a good provider good, what makes a good provider not so good, or seemingly good, maybe even excellent. So today we're putting Proton Drive under the microscope to tell you the rundown and if it's a service that you might want to consider for your files. Now, we're talking security, we're talking privacy, we're talking features, productivity, speed, and whew, obviously one of the most important parts pricing. Basically everything you will possibly need to see if it's the right fit for you. So grab a coffee or two or three and it's about to get really interesting. Let's kick things off with what Proton Drive is shouting from the rooftops. Security! <laughs> Privacy! Now if you're familiar with Proton's other products like Proton Mail, you know, these folks don't mess around when it comes to keeping your data locked down really, really tight. Proton Drive uses end-to-end -end encryption for all your files. And what does that mean in plain English? Basically, your files are encrypted before they even leave your device and they stay that way until you decide to access them. Even Proton can't peek at your stuff. It's like having a safe that even the manufacturer can't really crack, which is amazing. Now, Proton Drive also encrypts all your metadata. Things like file names and sizes are all hidden. Sync.com also does this. However, other encryption services like Mega doesn't fully encrypt your metadata. Now, in this level of security overkill for most people, maybe. But if you're handling sensitive documents or you're just really, really into privacy, this is pretty impressive stuff here. Proton Drive is based in Switzerland, which has some of its strictest privacy laws in the world. This ensures your data is processed honestly and fairly, and you have the right to ask for it to be deleted at any time. I've got an article covering all you need to know about the Swiss privacy laws, which I'll drop in the description box below for you to peruse. Proton Drive doesn't target you with ads or scan your files like some other cloud services do. They keep data collection to a bare minimum. Just the basics for your account, some anonymous stats, and temporary security checks. And by the way, just a quick tip. When you create a Proton Drive account, you're going to see this pop up on your screen. Make sure you download the PDF and don't just skip past it like any standard privacy policy that you might need when you're like hitting a checkbox and just want to install a software. Because as it says, if you lose your login details, you're likely going to lose access to your account. That's because of the level of encryption Proton uses, which results in them being unable to reset lost passwords. Let's talk features and usability. Proton Drive's interface is clean and pretty straightforward. After signing up, you can choose between a range of light and dark themes for the design. And on the left, you've got your files, shared stuff, and trash. There's also a drop-down menu to quick links to other Proton apps, such as a calendar, an email client. Your files show up in the middle. You can view them as a list or icons, whichever you prefer. And back over in the left-hand menu is where you can see how much storage space you're currently using. If you need more, you simply select the Upgrade button and purchase what you need. Proton Drive actually supports previews for most common file types, PDFs, Word documents, JPEGs, you name it. There's a slight issue here. You can preview videos, but only if they are 100 megabytes or smaller in size. In real world use, we were able to open a two minute video shot on an iPhone. So 
If you're a video creator who doesn't want to download files anytime you want to view them, I basically recommend you check out um, pCloud, which also has end-to-end -end encryption, but doesn't have a limitation when it comes to the file sizes in terms of video previews. You can use Proton Drive pretty much anywhere on Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. The desktop app functions as a virtual drive. It supports Selective Sync, allowing you to access files in the cloud from your desktop without continuously taking a local storage space. And for the mobile app, it's basically a smaller version of the website. You can see your files in trash, plus an option to make files available offline. And the settings are, in my opinion, pretty simple. You know, the usual stuff like clearing cache and, and setting up a pin, face ID, or fingerprint to get into your account. By the way, you can access any photos you backup via the mobile app on the web browser app as well. There's no file management capability, so your images will appear in their order of upload. And you can't create folders or anything like that for photo management, but at least you have the option to access them via your computer, which is nice in my opinion. All right. Let's talk about getting work done with Proton Drive. They've recently introduced Docs. It has all the collaborative features you'd expect from a document editor, real-time collaboration, and drum roll, it's encrypted. So you can work on documents with your team without sacrificing privacy. Even your keystrokes and where your cursors on the page are encrypted. Is it a Google Docs killer, maybe? I don't think so. It doesn't match the array of fonts offered by Google Docs and you can't make suggested edits either, which is something my team and I heavily rely on. But it's not a bad word processor. In fact, it's, it's, it's very good. You can make standard edits and leave comments and, and get feedback. You can also import and export documents in various formats like dot docx and html this makes it easy to work with files from other platforms no headaches no fuss one thing i do like also is secure file sharing you can share files with a link set passwords expiration dates and even yank access whenever you want full flexibility time for some of our famous speed tests in our tests Proton Drive did very well. We ran our tests using a 5 gigabit folder full of mixed files on a 100 megabits internet connection. Uploads took around 7 minutes and 15 seconds and downloads took about 7 minutes and 40 seconds. It was faster than other end-to-end -end encryption services like pCloud and Mega and on par with the likes of Google Drive. And really, no complaints at all in the speed department. In fact, I was very impressed for it to be like a zero knowledge encryption service. It's pretty, pretty good. Now, how much will Proton cost you? Well, first up, Proton Drive does have a free plan that offers up to five gigabyte of free storage, but it wants you to work for it. You start with two gigabytes of storage, but you need to upload a file, access it from a different device and share something within a month of creating your account to bump it up to five gigabytes. If you want more storage, you're looking at around $13 per month for 500 gigabytes on the Proton Unlimited plan, and you get access to other Proton services like Proton Mail and Proton VPN. That's not cheap, by the way. Google Drive offers two terabytes of storage for just under 10 bucks a month, and you get access to Gmail and other apps. And things do pick up though. Proton Drive's also just rolled out Proton Duo. It's pretty interesting for around $15 a month, you get one terabyte of storage that two people can share. Plus, you both get full access to all Proton services, mail, drive, calendar, pass, and VPN, and they throw in an extra 15 gigabytes every year. If you don't need all the add-ons and just want fast, secure, and affordable service, Ice Drive can be a sound alternative. You can get three terabytes of storage space for just under $9 a month, and it comes with end-to-end -end encryption as well. So. What's the verdict on Proton Drive? Look, as with most services, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's pricier than some alternatives, but if security and privacy are your top priorities, Proton Drive could be a really solid choice. Plus, it's also it offers a full ecosystem of security suites, VPN, email, you name it. So it integrates very well with these solutions. The security, as we've covered in this review, is top-notch and with the addition of a document creator, 
email, client, and calendar. It certainly can serve you very well as an online workspace if you want that. I honestly don't think choosing Proton Drive is a bad idea at all. Would I recommend it over similar services like pcloud and sync.com? No, because they offer a better, more affordable service overall, I would say. It's a more mature, these are more mature cloud storage services. However, Proton Drive isn't far behind. So if you go for it, it's certainly a good choice. All right. That's a wrap on our Proton Drive review. What, what do you think? Is Proton Drive's focus on security worth the trade-offs or do you prefer a different option? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you found this review helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more cloud storage insights. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Stay cloudy, my friends.